Deputies have identified and are now looking for a man they believe shot and killed a father of eight. This crime happened 10 months ago. WKRG News 5's Kimber Collins spoke exclusively with the victim's family today. They have a message for the suspect. The Riggs family is still heartbroken over the loss of Ernest Riggs Jr. The 48-year-old played an important role in a massive family. They say the call Thursday that a suspect had been named brought new hope for justice. Now they want the man caught and want to know why Ernest was killed. I wear Ernest in my heart every day, every night. Christine Riggs is still mourning the loss of her son, one of five siblings who lived to serve his community. A motivator, an influencer. Uh, he did a lot in the community. He was a community advocate. And you love this family, a family man. Riggs was killed on Vincent Lane in Fort Walton Beach inside a work truck. His family says Riggs owned a construction company. Riggs, along with four other people, were in the neighborhood March 17th, 2021, for a new business deal. Witnesses told OCSO they saw a man dressed in all black walk up to the truck and shoot Riggs in the passenger seat with a handgun. OCSO believes that to be Galveo Saab. The Riggs family says they are thankful to have a next step in this case. So many of us up deaths out here and, and you know uh, we're just happy that they got down to somebody that particular phone call was just a breath of fresh air just to give us keep the hope alive according to the arrest warrant issued on january 20th galveo saab purchased a phone from walmart two days before the shooting deputies say riggs and saab communicated through that purchase phone number the day he was killed through gps tracking and phone records ocso placed the phone at the scene of the crime the riggs family says the real healing will happen after justice is served in the meantime they have a message for the suspect you're a forgiving family and at this point we're just trying to find a reason to forgive we just want to know why i just hope they find him and um, get him off the streets before he do this to someone else's father, brother, nephew, or something. And it's just not right, you know, to take someone's life like that. He didn't deserve this. Jeremy Riggs says his brother had a life motto, it's on again. That reminded people that life goes on and to not wallow in the bad times. As for the suspect, OCSO says Galveo Saab's last known residence was Fort Walton Beach, but he has since left the area. Once in custody, he will face first degree premeditated murder. In Okaloosa County, Kimber Collins, WKRG News 5.